Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Saturday, February 2nd. Today the moon is in Capricorn still. A uh, serious moon, a uh, practical moon. Uh, yesterday we had a very powerful uh, square of Pluto and Mars. You might have felt that. Um, it could have been felt as sort of a deep... Um, bubbling uh, emotion, generally anger, <laughs> coming up. Um, you might have erupted or been in the presence of people erupting. Uh, so there was a lot of emotion uh, flowing yesterday. And that will continue because those kinds of things uh, don't just stop in when they happen. They, they continue. And it is part of um, us becoming aware of our um, unconscious desires our, our unconscious desires from our soul become conscious through that process. So um, don't be surprised if things bubble up that you didn't actually know were there. Today is a different story, however, um, or maybe we could add to the story. Yesterday, Mars had its opportunity. Today, Venus does. And uh, Venus makes a uh, trine to Uranus. Uranus is in, in Aries. Uranus has been in Aries for about seven years. And um, it did dip into... Uh, Taurus there for a little while and then came back out and now is in the last degree of Aries and won't be back to Aries for another 77 years. Uh, Venus is in uh, Sagittarius right now and will make a, um, a waning trine to Uranus. Uranus is breaking free. It's uh, uh, deconditioning, individuation, uh, rebelliousness, and Venus is the feminine. And so we can see that the feminine continues to rise. Part of that was due to um, Eris, which is not something I generally talk about, uh, that made a conjunction to um, Uranus. I believe that was in 2017. A couple of conjunctions to Uranus, actually three of them, I believe. And, um, and then Jupiter went into Scorpio, so the Me Too movement sort of. Uh, finally came out, uh, it had been around for a while, but it finally came up into the consciousness of the uh, of the people, as it were. And, uh, and this whole feminine rising thing continues. And today, Venus makes, a, uh, Venus and Sag makes trying to run a scenario for the last time um, until, uh, you know, for another like 70 odd years, because uh, Uranus will be there uh, in Aries for another, uh, 77 years. So, um, this is sort of, uh, the final push in a way and, uh, the, almost like a giving birth. Trines are super creative. There are two types. There are the types that deal with, uh, our self, our self-expressive creative side. And there's those that deal with uh, sharing what we know. And that's the one that we're dealing with now. They all have the energy of creativity and fire and spirit. So, it's a very spirited time and a time when we can really learn from each other. And so it behooves us to keep our ears open. Thing is with trines is they kind of happen in the background and you have to actually choose to utilize the energy. But the, utilize, the energy is there, the energy to change, the energy to break free, the energy to finally individuate and become the person that you want to be, whether you're a male or a female. But it's really about the awakening of the feminine part of ourselves, the emotional part of ourselves, the part of ourselves that has uses creative imagination. Um, that needs to take its proper place next to reason, <laughs> as it were. And if we can balance our imagination with our reason, then we know the male and the female are balanced as well. So uh, it is time for the feminine to rise. Things have been very challenging, but I think things are challenging so that this can happen. So, um, uh, yeah, sometimes it's got to get really bad before we wake up to the possibilities of something different. And believe me, there is something different out there. And you can create it. You can co-create it. Um, I want to thank everybody for their kind words, for all the um, uh, comments. Uh, I did have a little spell there <laughs> last week where I was really um, doubting that anything was going to change. But of course it does, and uh, I guess we're all human uh, with that. But um, it's hard for me to ask, uh, to, to open up like that. So I appreciate all your kindness with that. And um, if you'd like a reading with me, uh, comment below or contact me at my website, thesegeoftransformation.com. 
Um, we are here to, for each other. Don't forget that. And it's, been, it's a pleasure to, uh, to connect each day. Have a great day. I will see you again tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to be doing a series on the uh, people who are uh, running for the presidency. I'm going to do their numbers and their Kabbalah and their charts um, if I can get some accurate birth times. And even if I can't get accurate birth times, we can still get some good information from the chart all the same. So look for that. That's coming soon. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.